Hi everybody, this is Jane Chiu from HandmadeJewelryClub.com Today I am going to show you this super easy project Enjoy your video, bye! In this project, you just need to make use of three types of pliers A wire cutter A chain nose or flat nose And a round nose plier in this project, we are going to make use of a few spacer bar. In For each spacer bar, you will see two holes that go across the other, the other end. You will also need a few round pearl beads that are measuring 0.4 cm in diameter. For this project, I am going to make use of a pair of bracelet graphs that look like this. So as you notice, there are loops at both sides of the clasp. And to open it, you just need to press here and you will be able to open the clasp. In this project, I am using uh, two pieces of 20 gauge wire measuring about 8 inch for each one of them and on top of that I'm also making use of small jump ring as the connector for the bracelet okay let's begin by making a loop for one of the copper wire that we just cut off to make a loop first Measure approximately 0 0.8 cm from the tip of the wire and make a 90 degree bend using a flat nose plier. Okay, then turn it this way and now place your round nose plier at the tip of the wire here and turn your hand towards inward in order to make a loop so I've just completed making a loop as you notice this loop is not perfect yet so what I will do is I will take out the pliers and place another jaw here and reopen the loop and I'll pull out the pliers again and place the other side of the jaw and to close the loop again. So as you can see, now I have a perfect loop. Now take another, the other uh, copper wire and repeat the same process to make a loop at the end of the copper wire. So now you will have two copper wires ended with loops at the end of the wires. Now let's insert the bits onto the wires. So I'm going to insert two bits, two per bits onto the first wire. And now I'm taking the second copper wire and insert two round bits onto it. So now you have the bits strung onto the wires. Now take a spacer bar and insert it onto the two copper wires that we have. So I'm currently inserting the first one, inserting the first copper wire onto the spacer bar. Next, um, Inserting the second copper wire onto the spacer bar. Now continue the same pattern by inserting two round bits onto each copper wire. Once 
once you have two beads on each of them, we, again we will insert the next spacer bar onto the two copper wire. I will make two loops at the end of the bracelet. So to make the loop again use a flat nose plier to make a 90, uh, 90 degree band and leave about 0 0.8 cm of wire cut off the remaining using a wire cutter use a pair of round nose pliers to help you form the loop okay so I repeat the other side Cut off the remaining wire from here. You see, I have completed making two loops at the end of the bracelet. Now you need to uh, make a make use of a round object to bend the bracelet. Okay, this is the bracelet glass. I'm going to pull out the bracelet glass, and I'm going to hook the loops onto the loops of the bracelet glass. Now, let's pull out the bracelet glass and I'm going to hook the loop from the bracelet onto the loop of the, blaze, uh, of, of, of the glass. To do so, you can make use of a jam ring as the connector or if you like, you can actually open up the loop here and put on the bracelet glass okay. Okay, stop. okay let's open the loop from the bracelet and I'm going to put on uh, the loops from the glass onto the loops from the bracelet. Now let's close the loop. Okay, repeat the same process for the other end of the bracelet. Okay, for this side of the bracelet glass, I I would like to um, use the jam ring as a connector because I would like the uh, the bracelet glass to be slightly away from from the pearl beads. This is in order that when we open the bracelet glass later on, um, we have enough space to to actually press this part of the bracelet and open the. Um, uh, and pull it out from the main bracelet glass here. I'm using a very small jam ring as a connector. So now, with the help of two pliers, you can make use of chain nose pliers. Um, open the jam ring sideways, this way. And now, you are going to connect the loop from the bracelet. With the loop of the from the uh, bracelet glass. So once you have actually uh, insert all these components in, 
you can close the jump ring with the help of two pliers again. Repeat the same process uh, for the other side of the loop. This time round, I'm going to insert the other side of the loop from the blaze, uh, bracelet glass onto the loop from the bracelet. And uh, yeah, I'm going to close the jump ring. So you have connected the respective loops with the jam ring. Mm -hmm.